Okay. <clears throat> okay, so I'm a fork, and we're gonna learn how to make anime environments in Blender. Uh, so first thing to do before starting any project is obviously to get some references. So since we are learning anime environmenting, if that is a word, we gotta get a reference to learn from. The first thing uh, I thought we were gonna learn about is uh, the gradient node. So episode one, gradients. So let's practice on a cube, not the default one, that gets X out of existence. And we're gonna use a new one. This is boring looking, so we will make a basic paint texture. Uh, let's get a big kingdom some paint, yeah, and bright. Bring it in. Uh, now we plug it into the basic B BSDF there. Uh, and now we want to make it from looking too realistic. It's, it's not that good here, but you know, it's just an image. So we bring in a brightness and contrast node here. And we bring in a hue and saturation one, so we have full control. So sometimes maybe you want to make it more contrasty or whatever. Uh, and then afterwards we put in a mix RGB. So now we can change the blend mode to color, so then we can now manipulate uh, what kind of color the paint is. If you're curious on how the scene is set up, it's just a simple sunlight pointed towards the cube and it's, the sun is on power 4 and the point is on uh, the wattage of 35. So it's just it's a small thing just so we can see the cube clearly in the, in the viewport. Uh, okay, so bring another mix RGB node into the equation. This one is just to control the overall color of it so that it doesn't look just like an image. We add another mix RGB node and we make this into multiply because this will help us use the gradient texture. Now we're going to plug the gradient into the mix RGB or the multiply and control T to, for node wrangler to appear. But if you don't have node wrangler, uh, you can just go to edit, preferences, uh, check with the add ons, and there's node wrangler. It's very useful. Put it on, please. Very good. And um, yeah, so now, add a color lamp also. Yeah, so now, most of the time, when you're putting the uh, gradient texture, uh, we it comes in from left to right, so you'll have to change most of the time. Uh, sometimes it's the Y coordinates, sometimes it's Z. Uh, so we adjust the multiply and uh, make it go from dark to bright. So that's what the multiply does, it just helps the gradient uh, influence the shader. Oh yeah, and uh, roughness. Uh, for anime textures, they're normally very shiny, so the roughness you'll play with, but uh, we can talk about this in another episode, you know. Today we're just doing uh, gradients. That's basically the basics of uh, the gradient texture in, in any anime textures. Uh, in later episodes we'll talk about more about the images or the roughness and stuff like that. Uh, but there's something else I like to normally do, but it's very it's specific to this version of Blender I'm using. It's called Glue Blender. You can get it from the Goo Professor on YouTube. It's for free, like uh, Blender itself, but you'll have to patch it up uh, yourself. Otherwise, you can go to his Patreon, pay him like five bucks, and then you can get uh, uh, Goo Blender all packaged uh, package nicely for you. So uh, the speciality I was talking about to so Goo Blender is uh, the curvature node. That basically it outlines uh, hard surfaces, so giving you that nice sheen on the on the edges. And if it's a smooth surface like a sphere, then it does the rim. So like a nice like this this light here in this in the reference. <clears throat> I don't actually need to explain it. It's, it's pretty easy. I'll just take a screenshot here. You go. This is the node tree to include this this these light edges with the curvature node and gives us a nice light effect. Hope you learned something in the first episode. Uh, there are a few add-ons that I still need to uh, introduce. It's very useful, but uh, that can be done in a later one. Alright, see you, bye.